something that is essential when it comes to someone being able to embrace life and so to receive is for them to know that they deserve and have the right to exist. And if someone is able to embrace life and, have, and they have no trouble receiving, then this can be something that is in place. And as it is in place and they are able to receive, there will be no reason for them to even question or to think about this because it will just be a normal part of their life. And after thinking about this, I ended up writing an article. And this article was titled, Can Developmental Trauma Cause Someone to Believe That They Have No Right to Exist? When someone believes that they have the right to exist, they are likely to be in a position where they generally don't have trouble being supported and embracing life. This is because by knowing at the core of their being that they have the right to be here, they will feel worthy of all that life has to offer. As a result of this, they will be able to express their needs and wants, so to ask for things and actually receive what they ask for. This will also mean that they will feel safe enough to be here and to receive. If this is how their life has more or less always been, this will just be how their life is. Therefore, how they experience life will just be what is normal and it won't be something that stands out. Then again, there may have been a time when this wasn't what was normal. Consequently, they will know exactly what life is like without a felt sense of the right to exist and being worthy of life. When someone doesn't have these components in place, their life is going to be far harder than it needs to be. The trouble is that living in this way is likely to be normal, which is likely to mean that how they experience life won't stand out. They are then not going to have a felt sense of having the right to be here and being worthy of life but they won't be consciously aware of it. So their life will be a struggle, but they won't see a way out. Meeting their lower needs, let alone their higher needs, is likely to be a challenge. To try to change their life, they could have the tendency to work really hard, but still find that it is not enough. They could often come into contact with people who don't seem to work very hard, yet always have what they need. This could cause them to feel angry, frustrated and helpless, and as though someone or something out there is holding them back. They could then have a victim mentality, or often feel like a victim. Along with this, they could often feel very low and depressed, and find it hard to get out of bed at times, having very little energy or drive. There may be times when they imagine what their life would be like if they were supported and were able to have what they needed and wanted without endlessly having to struggle. This would allow them to move from merely surviving to being able to thrive. If it was put forward to them that the reason their life is this way is due to what is taking place inside them, they could end up dismissing this. They could say that this is not possible as they want their life to change. At a conscious level, this will be the case. But at an unconscious level, something else will be going on. At this level, they won't believe that they have the right to be on this earth, or worthy of having their needs and wants met, as they won't feel safe enough to receive. It could seem strange as to why they would be this way at a deeper level, but it will make sense if what took place during their early years is taken into account. Nonetheless, their conscious mind might not be able to remember anything about the stage of their life. One reason for this is that their brain will have blocked out what took place in order to protect them. From the moment they were born, 
they are likely to have been neglected and when they were given attention it might have largely been misattuned care not receiving the love care and attention that they needed would have deeply wounded them how they were treated would then have sent the message that they were not wanted had the right to be here or were worthy of life ergo they wouldn't have been able to form firm foundations foundations that would have allowed them to grow into a strong and capable adult a stage of their life then when they needed to feel safe secure wanted loved and supported was a stage when they felt insecure unsafe unwanted rejected abandoned and helpless they would have experienced a physical birth but they wouldn't have experienced an emotional birth the nutrients that they needed were not provided so it is to be expected that they won't be in a good way now that they are an adult however the truth is that they have the right to exist and are worthy of life there's a strong chance that their caregivers were unable to give them what they needed due to them not having received what they needed during their formative years so if you can relate to this you can see that you don't have deep inside you the sense that you have the right to exist that you deserve to exist and please know that you do have the right to be here and do deserve to exist because if you didn't you wouldn't be here and just because your parent or parents were unable to give you what you needed so that you were able to know this at the core of your being it doesn't mean that this is the truth it's simply a reflection of where they were at and the wounds that they were carrying and how they were not able to be present during this time of your life so if you can relate to this you may need to reach out for external support so that you can start to work through your emotional wounds the main thing is that you don't suffer in silence and do what you need to do to gradually change your life if you would like to find out more about the services that i offer please go to www.oliverjrcooper.co.uk or email me at info at oliverjrcooper.co.uk and i'm looking forward to assisting you on your journey